you know what it's time i got cracking on some of these projects so let's work on the old uh, london transport pannier tank and today it's connecting rods after years of constant running these bearings eventually start getting worn and here's a brand new bearing you can see i've put in here here's one of the old bearings that i've still yet to press out and here's one i've already whacked out why am I doing this? Well here you can see the bearing wiggling all around and that'll act like a hammer and make an awful clonking noise. So let's smash this and that'll go into the scrap bin. And let's tap out one of the old bearings. To do this I'm using a piece of metal that's the size of the bearing and get a large hammer and thwack it. The hole that's left here is about half inch so I'll turn a new piece out of fuzzy bronze that's about two thou big so it squeezes in nice and tight. I use a centre drill and a twist drill that's one size down from what I need it to be and then press that bearing in, which is a really satisfying moment. Next, to help these bearings last longer, you draw a small little hole in the top here and this means that you can put oil onto the bearing and then we'll use a hand reamer. This opens the hole up to three eighths of an inch and makes it really nice and smooth. <laughs> Now I'm trying to wiggle the con rods, trying to feel if there's any loose play, but there's nothing on this side. Bear in mind, I've got to do the other side again, so we'll do a quick test, like putting a forward gear, and yeah, that ain't bad. I mean, the engine's very naked at the moment, but hey, who doesn't love a naked well-oiled? No, 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 no. Nice. 